as Ralph Nader says, in, in, in the terms of the language of patriotism, they're dangerous. Um, we literally watched them destroy the manufacturing base of the United States. Uh, factories in places like Ohio were, were created, actually created and moved over the border of Mexico, and now we have large scale factory closures in Mexico as these corporations uh, move to the cup they embrace China's totalitarian capitalism. And what workers are told in the industrialized world is that they have to be competitive in the global marketplace, which of course means being competitive with prison labor in China or sweatshop workers in Bangladesh who make 22 cents an hour. That is the awful logic of unfettered or regulated corporate capitalism. And that's where we're headed. And the book, uh, the chapter before, the, uh, the penultimate chapter, is, uh, is out of the produce fields uh, in Florida, where uh, mostly undocumented workers are, uh, you know, they, they embody the kind of perfect worker in the eyes of the corporate state. They have no legal rights. They gather every morning at collection points, at four in the morning, looking for work. And if there is no work for the crew, Leaders don't need them, they're jettisoned. Um, they're, uh, they have to live near the collection points, and so you have um, uh, trailer parks where it costs $50 uh, a week to have a mattress inside, and we were in those trailers, all of which were condemned years ago. Uh, $2,000 a month, these landlords <coughs> were pulling off of these trailers. Uh, and if they can't get the, the, the work, they're literally tossed out the door. So that we were interviewing workers who uh, were sleeping under mango trees, we were walking into encampments where people would sleep at night outside and then get up in darkness in the morning and go and try and get work in the produce fields. Um, of course, they're exposed to all sorts of chemicals, fertilizers, pesticides, uh, and poisons. Uh, as soon as they get older, the crew leaders will pick them and they go back to Mexico and Honduras and Guatemala as poor as when they arrive, and anecdotally filled with poisons that often uh, result in cancers and early death. Um, and it's not accidental that in the produce fields you constantly uncover cases of slavery, where workers are held against their will, uh, crew leaders tell them that if they report those conditions to authorities, their families and their village will be threatened. Um, and uh, we interviewed a worker, for instance, who had been chained at night inside the back of a truck, forced to defecate with the other workers in the corner of the truck for two years. Uh, and when he got out, most of the workers were too scared to testify in the case uh, against these, this family that held him. He was one of them, but of course he was blacklisted. 